Hey everybody, excuse my really messy desk right here. I wanted to share um, something I made today um, during World Card Making Day. I didn't know that was such a thing until, you know, people started talking about it. But anyway, who cares, right? I actually didn't make a card today. I finished two cards that I had started some time ago. I'd already shared the um, inside of the cards. So I just did the outside because um, the inside is like much more complicated. It's one of those pop-up cards, or both of the cards that I finished were pop-up cards. Anyhow, I made a tag today, or um, more than one tag, but um, been playing around with this design um, just because I got this new kit, and I shared this. I shared the kit in my last haul video, but I used some other things. I used this script stamp that actually isn't in the on the sheet right now. I got it at. Um, Tuesday morning. There's the SKU number if you're looking for it. Um, I use the text stamp, and this text stamp is actually not English. No, I didn't even look at that before. It's in French, it looks like, but it's fine because you can't really read it anyway. That's the whole point, was just some text. I used my new um, fairy tale Christmas kit, and um, one of the things that I had, I don't know, I for some reason it's in my brain now this whole idea of the book business. So um, there are two dies in here that make um, uh, book related items. So this one right here is actually for a dimensional box, but this one's for a tag, but the book is actually closed. Um, so this would be like, you know, the spine of the book over on this side. So I didn't use this tag because I wanted an open book look to it. And so I went digging through my um, dies that I've had for a long time and I found this one. Um, this is a um, We Are Memory Keepers or Lifestyle Crafts was bought by them um, die and it is called Nesting Frame 1. I think I might have picked this up a Tuesday morning. I'm not sure. But this is the largest in the set. So you can see that here. And I also used this rectangle nesting die set. This is the third largest in the set. So this is just a regular rectangle die, but of course you want one that's going to be the dimension of the um, the other nesting die. So I used those two dies that are non-PTI dies, and I made well. This is my end product here, and I will zoom in so you can see it a little bit better, and I don't have to hold it and you know, be moving it around too much for you. So let me just do that and then I'll, there we go. So you can see that large nesting frame die. I used some of the paper from the fairy tale kit to make, to cut out. And then this is just a white piece of cardstock from paper tray. And I stamped that French script stamp on here. All I did to get the, um, what do you call it? The margins, because a book is, doesn't actually have the print all the way up to the edge of the page, right? So I use some um, washi tape to tape off the edges and the top and the bottom and then the center spine area so that it would just stamp in that section that I didn't tape off. So um, I stamped it with paper tray ink, um, weather vane ink. So it's a gray um, color. And then I used some of the um, bunches that I had stamped out previously, and I had shared that again in a separate video um, as the layering stamps for this. Um, when I cut out this piece in the middle, the white piece, it looks like this. Um, and then I just score it down the middle with my scoreboard, fold it in half, and then I curl the edges and I use this Sizzix tool that is actually for flower making. Um, I use this Sizzix tool here to train the paper to have a curve in it um, to make it look, look more like an open book. So that's all I do is to curl the edges on both sides with that crease in the middle. Now before I do any of that I do stamp it out so that it's flat. You know it's laying flat so I, I stamp it first. Um, before you do any of the curling and folding and stuff because you don't want that to um, interfere with your stamping. So uh, this is the tag that I made. This twine here is from May Arts. Yeah, May Arts. Um, this red twine. And so this is a, a Christmas tag um, that I really love making today. And on the back I can just write the to and from. 
it's white on the back and then this is just meant to hang it on the parcel um, the package so um, that's the that's the final design of the one I came up with. Here's a different one that um, I had put together. It was too plain for me, and so I went in search of a script stamp in my stash, and that's the one I came up with. I didn't want to go out to my studio and look. I know I have a different one, but I don't know if the text is just a small to fit the um, size of the book. So I do like how this turned out, and I will probably be making a few more in different colorways, um, hopefully for Christmas. Um, so that is my quick share. I even started one that was a vintage book. Let me share that with you. I didn't like it, so I kind of just stopped in the middle. Um, this is, this is one that I stained, um, using, uh, the Distress Inks and tea dye. So again, this green paper comes from the kit. I just used my blending tool to, um, go around the edges to give it some aged look. Um, and then this paper, again, is Paper Tray Ink Stamper Select White, which I um, used the tea dye ink to to stain it. And again, I, I did do the, the stamping here. And for this stamping, I actually stamped off first and then stamped the paper. So it's a lot lighter than the, the other ones that I did or the other one that I did. Um, and I was going to put this little holly on there. I don't know. I was kind of not happy with it, so I kind of just stopped and... <laughs> worked on that first one I showed you um, to arrive at, at the end product. So um, that's just sort of, I don't know, it was just kind of bugging me today. So I did that today, um, got into a little bit of crafting and a little bit of cleaning up, um, trying to tidy up a little bit around here. But of course, my desk is now a mess from making stuff. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. And I hope you all got some time to craft and enjoyed my little project share. Bye.